In this lecture, we are going to see how to write a program for continuous transmission of a character from LPC 2148 to a PC. So, the steps involved in serial transmission of a character using UART peripheral in LPC 2148 has already been discussed in one of my previous lectures. If you want to go through that, I will be giving the link of that video in the i button. Now, we can go through the program. So, in the first step, you are written pin cell 0 or equal to 0 x 0 0 0 5. In this step, you are configuring P0.0 and P0.1 as TXD0 and RXD0 pin of UART. In the second step, it is written U0 LCR equal to 0x03. So, here you are configuring the data length, parity and the stop bit for UART. So, data length is configured as 8 bit, parity, non-parity and one stop bit has been configured. In addition to that, you are making divisor latch access bit as 1. That means you are enabling access to divisor latches such as DLL and DLM. In the third step, it is written U0 DLL equal to 97. So, here you are configuring the UART transmission board rate as 9600. Provided 15 MHz is the VPB clock or P clock. In the next step, it is written U0 LCR equal to 0x03. So, here you are disabling the access to divisor latches. And remaining all this configuration uh, is kept as the same. Only difference is that only difference between this step and this step is that here you are disabling the access to divisor latches. Then you are writing while one function. So whatever you are writing inside while one will be continuously executed. Right? So here my program is for continuous transmission of a character A from ARM to PC. So, what you should do, what before transmitting a character, what you should do, while of not equal, uh, while of uh, uh, exclamation, u0 lsr and 0x20. What does it mean? You are waiting until UART is ready to receive a new character for the transmission to take place. You are waiting until UART is ready to receive a new character for transmission to take place. For that you are checking U0 THRE bit. That is the fifth bit of U0 LSR register. After that when the uh, when the UART is ready to receive the next data uh, this uh, this condition will be false and the execution will come to a next statement. So here you are transmitting whatever character you want to transmit. So here I am going to transmit a character A that A will be sent to U0 THR. So, the transmission will occur. And again, when you are executing this while one, same thing will be happening. UART will be checked whether it is ready to receive the next data. Again, second character will be transmitted. So, these two steps will be continuously executed until you are powering off the uh, circuit. That is why it is given inside while one loop. This is an infinite loop. So, before doing the build process, you need to click on this target options and you need to perform some settings. I have already told about this setting in the previous videos. You can refer to that. First one in the first tab in target, you need to verify that the crystal frequency is 12 megahertz. Then in the output window, you need to give a tick mark for create hex file uh, checkbox. Then in the linger tab, you need to give one tick mark here. Use memory layout from target dialog. That means the memory layout should be taken from this target dialog that is a ROM memory starting address and the size as well as RAM starting address and the size. So these are the settings related with the target. Give OK, give build. So after uh, configuring the target options then only you should give build. So finally you can see that this creating hex file will be shown and in the folder you can see that uart dot hex will be generated uart tx dot hex will be generated the hex file name will be the name of the project not the name of the program so this is how you are writing a program for continuous transmission of a character from arm to pc